This is a Logitech MX Brio from the Master Series. It is a USB-C webcam. Um, it can shoot in 4K at 30 frames per second or HD at 60 frames per second. Um, it has beam forming microphones, a privacy screen. It basically clips to the top of your monitor or laptop and it's certified from all of the major you know video conferencing applications it has AI software it works with Windows and Mac um, Chrome OS and it also works with Linux and so I am specifically going to be evaluating this in the context of using it with Linux so the MSRP on this webcam is $200 I was sent it to review for free. Um, they haven't paid me for my review, so my opinions remain my own. All right, so in the box, they have a quick start QR code, um, some quick start guidelines, and then the actual webcam itself, which is inside of a cardboard packaging. Behind that, there's a thing that has a cable in it and some documentation as well. So this cable is thick and it's rubbery. It's a USB-C to C cable. This is a native USB-C webcam and it says it requires USB-C 3.0, at least for the highest resolution. Um, so this cable is kind of a rubber, not sure if it's silicone or just some type of rubber coating. It's probably about four feet long and it feels pretty thick. It's still moderately flexible. It doesn't look like it's going to have too much trouble, you know, staying where you put it. But it's a little heavier duty feeling than many USB-C cables. So the webcam has the USB-C port on the back and then it has this multi-function clamp on it. And it feels surprisingly heavy. So there's magnetically attached into here, and then it has this clamp, it has some stick on here, so you can stick it to the back of a monitor, for example, or it appears that it might be um, rigid enough, it might just hold on there, and then it has some adjustability here as well. So there's a, a decent amount of adjustability and ways for mounting this guy. Now this guy feels heavy, it, it's, it's hefty. So we have here a little protective thing over the screen and the privacy screen is closed. You rotate this, has a nice action, it has a solid click when it gets to the inside, it goes thunk and it shuts. So you have this visible indicator of the privacy screen being closed there. It has a light and the two beam forming microphones. So the camera itself weighs in at 6 ounces, that's 175 grams. So given the weight of this and the mount and the instructions for the mount, um, you know, this is a desktop monitor webcam. It's not really designed to clip on to a laptop. Um, it basically says, you know, wash off the back of your uh, monitor and then place this thing down on your monitor with this adhesive peeled off and then push this forward until it you know sticks to the back of your monitor and then this thing goes on it. Now you can remove this. It has a quarter by 20 threaded hole in here so you could put this on a tripod or some type of aiming head um, but it has this magnetic mount and it basically just snaps in there and there's a little bit of vertical adjustment this way and then horizontal side to side adjustment that way so you can point it after you've put it onto your monitor. Now one thing to point out is that this guy here, if you want it to go up from your monitor, it goes below this area here. And so um, in most cases you'll probably be pointing this downwards, but if you want it to point up from your monitor or wherever you mount it, you'll need to make sure it's pointed in that direction when you put this on and glue this in so you don't accidentally you know, limit the motion to that amount by having a flat top of your monitor there. Now that being said, it does appear to be possible to kind of hang it off of a monitor or a laptop here as long as your hinges are sturdy because that's six extra ounces of weight. And so, you know, it's definitely putting some downward pressure on those hinges there. Um, but it does kind of just hang, you know, it's not glued on, it's just kind of clipped, but it clips over this edge and then keeps from falling off. 
and you can adjust it there. So it is possible to put it on a laptop if your hinges are sturdy enough, um, but I don't really think that's the intended use here because most laptops nowadays come with built-in cameras on the top. Um, and so this is really for you know a studio, a desktop, a, a place where you're you know, permanently setting it up somewhere. And I really do appreciate the standard quarter by 20 mount on the bottom. That makes mounting this really easily. You know, if you don't like this particular hardware, you know, there's all kinds of mounting options for that. All right, we have a Ubuntu Linux laptop here. Let's plug it in and see what happens software wise. Okay, we have recognized a new device. It has a USB audio. NX Brio UVC 1.0 device has a serial number. New super speed USB device. All right, I'm using the Cheese application here just to take a look at the webcam. As you can see, it's an ultra wide field of view and it's doing 3840 by 2160. You can choose lower resolutions if you wanted to. So here is an extremely low resolution video. Um, but if we change that, we can do so here's standard HD resolution, which is plenty fine for most video conferencings, or you can do the full 4K, which is probably more detailed than you really want in some cases. It also supports standard modes like 640 by 480. All right, so out of the box, you just plug it in. There's no software to install. The drivers just work. So to give you an idea of the field of view, this is from my integrated webcam. And if I move over to the MX Brio, um, the video here will both get higher quality, but it also gets much wider. So this is it working with Open Broadcasting Studio. Um, it has YUV420 Motion JPEG, and it also has YUYV422 um, native. And so the other ones are emulated down here, but these all seem to be doing just fine. Now we can also adjust and change the resolution as we would like in Open Broadcast Studio. Now when you do that, um, it did grab the upper left corner of the camera in Open Broadcast Studio, so that's a setting you're going to have to change to go into the center if you lower the resolution. Okay, I have set this resolution to 1280 by 720, which is the same resolution I'm shooting and editing the entire video in. So don't judge the camera by the resolution you see on the screen right now, because that's artificially lowered down. However, I'm basically going to be doing some lighting tests so you can see how it works in different lighting situations. Okay, so this is with the front blinds closed and all of the lights turned off. So it's a little bit darker, but the image quality looks pretty good to me on the screen. This is with some artificial backlighting. It seems to be doing pretty darn good here. All right, so here I am sitting directly in front of a north-facing window. Um, this is a decent amount of backlighting. I have all the lights in the house turned off, but you can still see me relatively well. All right, this is the same situation, but I've turned on all of the lights in the house, so now there's a lot more light on me. Okay, I am sitting in what I would consider to be extremely challenging circumstances for any video conferencing webcam. Um, I'm in basically a darkened room with a little bit of light coming in behind me on this shade here, but that's about it. So the Brio MX is actually doing a surprisingly good job. My face is being illuminated by the laptop. You can see that in my glasses reflections here. Um, there's backlight behind me and it's not horrible. You can see my facial figures. I mean, obviously there's lots and lots of shadows everywhere, but it's not like a black outline with light behind it. Um, so from a low light perspective, I don't think you're going to be able to do much better than this webcam. It is doing pretty good in low light perspective. So as a comparison, this is from the integrated camera built into the top of my laptop screen. Um, you can still see my face, but there is a lot of noise in the video feed here. 
And the MX Brio does have a large field of view. This may be a good thing or it may be a bad thing, depending on how large you want your video conferencing field of view to be. I suspect if you're in a Windows environment, there's software that lets you pick a sub area within this region um, if you wanted a narrower field of view. All right. I've been impressed with the Logitech MX Brio. Um, it has really good image quality, high resolution, high speed. Um, I really like the integrated privacy shutter. You just spin this thing, it clicks open and closed. Um, it's really not intended for laptop use. You could kind of clip it to the top of a laptop in an emergency, but you know, it's a six, seven ounce device, so it's kind of hefty for that. It's really designed to be stuck to the top of a monitor, kind of permanently mounted there. You can move it around and aim it a little bit, um, but it's really more of a, a permanent home office type setup. Now, it does have the magnetic release, so you can use the quarter by 20 um, nut there to hook it up to basically any type of photography type, tripod, fluid head, whatever. Um, and so it would make a good camera in a studio as well. Now, this does have a premium price point. And so, you know, at that price point, I think it definitely meets all of my expectations for that price point. There is a question of, do you need this much camera? And unless you're doing video conferencing all the time, or you know, doing streaming, or really need high quality video, um, you can probably get by with a much less expensive camera for just day-to-day -day casual use. From the standpoint of using this with Ubuntu Linux, I am very happy. Plugged it in, it was recognized out of the box, it just worked as a video for Linux device. I could use Open Broadcast Studio or any of my Linux applications and they just kind of worked with it. Um, so there's probably a lot of benefits you can get by using the Logitech drivers or other operating systems. I'm sure they have all kinds of fancy enhancements and AI powered things that make you look better and so forth. But just as a bare metal USB webcam, it works really well with Linux.